Hi everyone. Uh, so in this video, we will be talking about how I got a $1,000 scholarship under Linux Foundation. Uh, so this scholarship is mainly for certifications and training. And yeah, the video will start from somewhere around uh, here, mentioned here. Uh, before that, I just wanted to say like I wasn't posting videos since a long time uh, and I think it's been 8 or 9 months now. Uh, I posted a proper video of uh, 2024 batch farewell. After that, uh, I wasn't posting and a lot of people uh, reached out to me on LinkedIn, Telegram, uh, Instagram and uh, I didn't know that uh, so many people are interested to watch actually and uh, a lot of people were asking why I'm not posting videos. So. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that and uh, because of that only like I am now continuing uh, making videos again. Like so it was my third year so I was busy in uh, uh, in other things and a lot of things happened so I wasn't, I wasn't able to get time to make videos and this video will be in Hindi and English mostly. So yeah, that's it. And I have one thing to say that many people were like that, that some people were very aggressive, that if you don't have a new video, then you can stop your channel. But uh, most of them were like, uh, why are you not making videos, anything happened or something like that. So th uh, thank you very much for that because I really needed that. And that's why I had to make new videos again, why did I have to continue to continue and all that. So, that was the thing and okay, ye wala jo, uh, ye wali jo scholarship hai, this scholarship I got uh, around 2024, uh, August May, August ke time pe and uh, um, us time mujhe videos banana tha par mujhe pata nahi mahani kyun nahi banana, lekin thik hai, amla, ab mujhe wapas continue karna hai and uh, and yeah, one more thing, uh, please don't ask me ki why I am shooting this video in, inside gym. Uh, I mean, simple thing, I didn't get any place to shoot. And then, uh, there are common rooms in our hostel, but there is no one place to shoot. And I mean, I have to shoot alone. I don't have to shoot anyone else, so that's why I don't have to shoot anyone else. So, that's why. And here is a very funny set-up. Like, if I tell you, I'm in a gym machine. And this is the set-up behind the back. And... Uh, uh, yeah, so now I will be posting more videos regularly, uh, that is for sure. Uh, so yeah, for this video, let's start. So I got, uh, uh, this scholarship is known as the Lyft Scholarship, L-I-F-T, and this is uh, provided by Linux Foundation. Um, and I got this scholarship around uh, 15th August. And uh, um, uh, we have to complete uh, this course uh, in one year, like I have to complete it till 15th August 2025. I have not done it yet. And uh, uh, yeah, so we get trained from uh, uh, Linux mem mem uh, members and uh, uh, we also get uh, certificates which holds a lot of value. And again, this uh, Linux found talking about Linux Foundation, uh, Linux Foundation is mo mostly the open source Linux community. And uh, we have other uh, uh, communities which are linked to Linux, that, uh, that is CNCF, Cloud Native uh, Computing, uh, Computing uh, Foundation. Uh, it is open source uh, community and we can also contribute to various uh, projects uh, which comes under Linux uh, Foundation and also like we, we all know there is one uh, open source program uh, uh, LFX, uh, LFX and uh, it uh, provides a lot of benefits. So it is similar to Google Summer of Code and uh, it also provides a stipend and mentorship and it runs for uh, three months. Uh, so again, uh, getting these uh, these types of things and certificates uh, will definitely add uh, a lot of value to your resume. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of other scholarships. Like I also got DanCon scholarship, uh, which is for uh, uh, attending a Cubicon, uh, which is conducted by Linux Foundation and the CNCF. So uh, that I will talk about in other video. And uh, uh, for now, uh, like the eligibility criteria is uh, uh, very uh, simple. Actually, uh, it is for students and as well as for professionals, like you can also apply if you are passed out from college and it is mainly, mainly for those who are interested in open source and who, are, who want to get involved into open source and who are, uh, who are contributing, even if you are not contributing or contributing, uh, you all are eligible uh, for applying uh, for the scholarship and uh, it uh, generally the uh, application forms open around the 1st April of every year, so it will be opening uh, this year. And uh, talking about uh, getting into it, like the type of questions that we get. Uh, so uh, I will be listing some questions here which are asked and uh, eligibility criteria also, although that is not uh, uh, very proper eligibility criteria. Like it is very simple and uh, 
uh, we have heard the questions they mainly ask uh, why are you interested in open source and uh, why do you want to get why do you want this scholarship to get into open source and uh, how it will be uh, beneficial for your future uh, you also have to mention your github and linkedin linkedin accounts i think and uh, resume is not asked mostly the application form is uh, application form only contains uh, some questions uh, like essay questions and uh, yeah and it is uh, it has uh, various categories which i will, which i will be listing here like uh, newbie open source and experienced ones uh, also we can uh, get uh, dollar 3000 uh, certifications and uh, training uh, under uh, this this one category and uh, yeah so talking about the certification and uh, uh, training so certificate uh, certificate is usually around uh, 400 dollars and uh, training is around uh, training varies uh, and certification also varies like it can be around uh, 1200 to uh, 600 dollars and uh, uh, training is also around uh, 400 300 to 800 or 700 dollars so it depends uh, but we get a lot of categories are also there uh, in which we can do like ai ml is there kubernetes is uh, specially focused on and uh, linux uh, scripting shell scripting and related to linux uh, it is there and uh, mostly cloud uh, cloud technologies docker mostly uh, lfx and cncf are uh, based on uh, go projects so if you are into go then it will be very beneficial for you to apply for lfx uh, i will definitely recommend you to apply for lfx uh, mentorship program uh, which is similar to gsoc and i will talk about it in later half of the video uh, it also provides uh, courses in blockchain as well so like if you are interested in uh, software development or open source in general you should definitely uh, check this scholarship out and uh, uh, yeah and the other scholarship is the dancon scholarship which i got uh by linux foundation and cncf so it is uh, to attend the cubicon uh in the so cubicon is the international conference conducted by cncf and uh, linux foundation so i attended it uh, it happened for the first time in india and uh, in december so that was again like another level experience i will be uploading video about it uh like separate video about it and uh, so for getting these types of scholarship uh, you should be involved into open source and you should be contributing to open source and you should have a good uh, github profile and uh, uh, this i'm talking about dancon scholarship uh, this not this doesn't apply for lift scholarship like even if you are very newbie type in open source then also you can apply uh, but for uh, uh, dancon scholarship uh, the thing happens is the thing that is uh, we can attend we have to attend the conference and they provide uh, uh sponsorship for travel uh for travel food accommodation and all so uh, my experience was very good in december like uh, i i think i um i had my first flight experience that too sponsored so that was a very great experience and uh, i will be sharing uh, other video about it Uh, one more thing is uh, there like uh, there are a lot of uh, you, i will suggest if you are interested in cloud and uh, if you are interested in open source and you just want to get involved more into uh, open source and these communities uh, so you should definitely check out uh, the various certifications that are conducted by these communities lfx uh, cncf and kubernetes so uh, we also have this uh, cubestra not uh, uh level of uh, what should i say like level of qualification so if we complete five certificates of uh, uh, kubernetes that is a very uh, very big achievement in itself like it holds a lot of value uh, this i got to know about in my when i attended cncf uh, conference uh, so definitely attending these types of conference is very helpful in uh, making meaningful networks and connecting with like minded people and uh, and definitely like uh, if you are into software development and if you want to try out a lot of things and uh, so i will uh, i will suggest you to uh, definitely go for networking events like this and uh, keep searching about it a lot of people ask me how do you get to know about these things like uh, uh, like how do you get a lot of people ask me how do you get to know about these things like uh, uh, like how do you get to uh, how do you keep track of these things so like i just uh, search every day almost every day on youtube or google like uh, and then uh, i am a part of various communities and mostly open source communities so i get to know about these things from the, those communities so uh, yeah getting into open source uh, definitely like benefited me a lot and um, i'm still trying to balance open source and uh, other things that in which i am interested in uh, but uh, yeah 
have to sometimes prioritize like sometimes i uh give time to other things and then sometimes i just want to contribute and get in so open source communities are uh, mostly in uh, uh, slack or discord and there are other channels like uh, mastodon is there and the matrix channels are there Sh sugar channels are there uh, so uh, what happens is like they have uh, this uh, community and uh, they discuss about a lot of things like there are threads and uh, there are uh, different servers actually so we can uh, discuss about uh, like uh, if there is any opportunity so we have a different group for that so opportunities just come there and then uh, we can apply uh, with the help of the link so that's the thing that you should do like if you are in your second year this is especially for second year and even for third years uh, if you are in college actually if you are in college you should be focused on making a lot of networks and i think making networks um, uh, like networking and uh, communicating on twitter especially for software and uh, uh, to be very honest, uh, like, uh, Twitter is more helpful than LinkedIn and uh, it uh, creates a lot of network and uh, usually most, most people share their opportunities directly on Twitter. So yeah, networking is one thing that I will say that I learned a lot in my third year. I was doing it since my first year because I was, I am generally interested to know uh, what other people are doing and what can I learn from them or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I just keep searching and uh, uh, yeah, that's mostly the thing. Uh, so talking about Dancon scholarship, I think I was selected for that uh, scholarship because I had this uh, Lyft uh, scholarship. So I will consider myself as an intermediate open source contributor. Like I haven't contributed very much, but I want to, but I am not able to. Again, like I also find it difficult, but I just try to do it. And uh, even if you have done a basic level or uh, certain level of uh, contributions to open source I will say these communities are very helpful and they will just uh, um, uh, help you a lot to get even further ahead like uh, yeah so I will definitely uh, advise you to uh, reach out to my uh, reach out to uh, people who are also contributing talk to them and uh, these things have help a lot uh, yeah talking about uh, the lift uh, lift uh, scholarship uh, again the applications will open from tomorrow I think first April and uh, uh, you should uh, you can apply for uh, the scholarship if you are interested in uh, linux cloud web development ai ml and uh, software kubernetes docker a lot of things are there actually blockchain and suggestions from my side to fill the lift scholarship is uh, they ask you a certain type of uh, essay questions so the main thing is uh, you should tell unique answers in every questions like it shouldn't be like uh, that uh, you are saying same, similar similar answers in every questions for example uh, how will open source help you in your future and why do you want to get into it so you uh, you can say like I'm in, I'm very much interested into open source and I tried contributing to open source. You can also link your uh, GitHub PRs if they are merged or even if they are open. So that will be uh, very uh, useful. Uh, but again, like coming then coming to the second questions like uh, what. Uh, uh, what open source technologies are you interested in so you shouldn't write like i am interested into open source and uh, um, i explored this and all so you you have to uh, give different type of answers like from a different viewpoint you should try to make your whole application it should be uh, telling about all it should be telling all about your background and uh, it shouldn't be like uh, question answer and question answer that that shouldn't be the format and it should be more or like uh, you are telling your whole story in, uh, in all the answers, like all the answers should make a certain type of story. And by story, I mean, like it includes all of your background work. So uh, uh, talking about how many PRs you must, uh, talking about uh, how many projects you worked on on GitHub, like you used uh, version control, how you used version control, uh, Atlassian is there, GitHub, uh, GitHub, Git uh, are there. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, these things uh, matters and uh, yeah, and if you have uh, any experience with uh, working in a team or uh, working um, working on your own personal projects. So you should give uh, every uh, aspect of your uh, answer, like um, everything about, it should be telling everything about you. That's the main thing. The answers uh, should be telling about you and you and open source. Uh, yeah, on the basis of that, uh, they usually select you and you get results around uh, June. Um, yeah, selection results were around June and you get uh, one year to complete the uh, course and certification. 
okay so uh, that is it for uh, this video and i will be uploading more videos soon and uh, with a good frequency now uh, i think i should resume making videos and uh, yeah it's fine okay thanks for watching then